Guys, you never guess what? The parcels just come, but it is way too hot inside in the UK. So I'm gonna head out into the garden and let's see what's come. Cause I feel it could be a bit of a turkey. Let's go. Guys, here's a clue. It's a big box, let's go. Hello everyone, this is your queen of chaos, Erin Aris, and you are watching the AJWF podcast. Make sure you like and you subscribe today and enjoy the video. Massive thank you to Erin for the intro there. Check her out on Instagram, she's a superstar. Who's the real gooker? Hashtag, we want Dana, guys. Guys, it is boiling in the UK today, so we'll bring it outside. It is ultimate edition, as you can see there. WWE logo. Now it is a big box. Quick backstory, because if you've seen the thumbnail, you probably know what this is. But since I was a kid, I've dreamed of this figure, guys. What an absolute obscure thing to make, but it is absolutely brilliant. Now, it came in a two pack. I'm going to start opening this. If you're using knives to open parcels, be careful, because it's not big or clever to play with knives. We can get inside it, that is. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, we're in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Survivor series. There's another clue. You don't need clues, do you? It's pretty obvious what it's going to be. But yeah, backstory. It is Mr. Gobbledy Gooker. Look at that. Now, yeah, the backstory I was going to tell you. My friend Fraz, massive Undertaker fan. Myself, not a big Undertaker fan. This worked out brilliant for me because he wanted the Undertaker figure, didn't want the Gooker, so less than half the price. He said, do you want to buy the Gooker off me? Of course I do. So yeah, he sent these. I'm guessing these came in the big parcel, big box. Are they supposed to be the same? Shouldn't they be like, joining up? Not sure. A bit weird, I think they join up, don't they? But yeah, that's just a backdrop. We don't care about that. Well, yeah. Get the box out of the way. It is. <laughs> In 2023, we are getting a giant egg for your wrestling figure. Unbelievable. Now, those who are too young, um, <laughs> Gobbledygooker, Thanksgiving turkey, came out of the egg, that's a virus series. That's, that's basically all you need to know. That is the backstory. Now, I'm going to get inside these things get some more pictures get them up close it looks incredible look at that come on gobbledygooker it looks brilliant doesn't it more recently portrayed for those newer fans by chelsea green at comic con she wore the famous costume but yeah anyway let's get inside these things and i'll get some pictures see you in a minute guys can you believe we have the gobbledygooker and a giant egg. It is unreal. But let me give the Gooka in the box a 360 for all you box lovers out there. We've got to start things off. Let's unbox this giant egg. It comes with the box, which is kind of like the stage for those that don't remember way back in, what was it, 89? Something like that, a long time ago. Anyway, here we go. So there is the two sides of the egg and there's also the top of the shell, so to speak. Uh, where's a knife? Hang on, if you're using knives to cut things, be careful guys, it's not clever to play with knives. Anyway, we've got these out now. Very simple, just half an egg, isn't it? They should, I think, just slot together. Let's have a, let's have a check, shall we? Just cut this one out. Hang on, there's the top. That'll all, it'll all make sense in a second, won't it? Anyway, there's a the stage as mentioned. And let me try, I think, yeah, it simply slots together. It is very, very easy. Just push it all together. And there you go. There is the gobbledygooker's birthplace, shall we say. And obviously the shell, the top just goes on top. Right, let's place the egg on the stage, just like at Survivor Series. Let me grab the Gooker's box. Let's have a look inside in here, because it comes with the extra hands and the extra head. So let's get him out here. How cool is this? There's the extra head for those that, that aren't aware. The one's the old, the one that's on the figure right now is the older head. And then we've got the newer head that's the extra one. And these legs, just show you here if I can. Um, 
it feels weird. I don't know why. Obviously, we've never had a giant turkey before. The arms are cool. Uh, articulation is there. You can see the feathers. It is really detailed. It's really cool. I'm just trying to show you underneath, look, so you can kind of see where it's made. It's in layers. The legs are very simple. Um, let's check. Yeah, it does. It feels really good. Let's, uh, should we see how pose it is? The articulation's good on the legs. The arm, oh, hang on. Um, the arm just popped off. Let me put it back together. Is that a fluke? Uh, let me just push it up again. It, oh, guys, okay. So the arms pop off very easily. You can't really move more. Let's check this side just in case it's, oh yeah. So they just come off. Um, I guess they can do that. A lot of the arms do interchange on these figures, but yeah, you can't really, it's not really playable if you, moving the arms up. I guess you can pose it like this if you twist them around. Just don't push them up because, yeah, these joints are just going to pop out. Just watch. Yeah, but yeah, that's not good. But anyway, let's move on. Right, so if we grab the second head here, this is the more modern head, shall we say. I think it was in like a, a battle royal at one of the WrestleManias from memory. Um, recently, Chelsea Green, Johnny Gagano wore the costume. Anyway, this is the classic head and it always reminded me, in fact, let me put a picture on the screen just there of Gonzo from the Muppets. That's what I thought of as a kid. Okay guys, let's go back to basics. I wanna give you some 360 of the egg, just so you can see it really. Um, and then I'll show the Gobbledygooker as well, cause that's what it's all about. There's no Undertaker in this video, cause we don't need the Undertaker, we just need the Gooker. Anyway, enjoy this, I'll be back in a minute. So guys, that was all the views of the Gooka. I'll do a bit of close-up in a minute, but here he is in his egg. And it's got to be said, the backdrop it comes with. I just want to address this really, really quickly, if I can. So I'm going to grab the piece of the cardboard and I'll be right back. Right, so here we go. Here's the piece of the cardboard. One side, it's got like the brick background where wrestlers would do interviews, so to speak, against. But on the other side, you've got the crowd backdrop. And I think these have been printed wrong. I think if you look at the, the flags going down, I think it should go all the way across and then back up like almost a mirror on the other side, not to the same. I definitely think there's an error there. Anyway, away from that, there's no error with this Gooka because for me, it is brilliant. And I'm going to get the close-up pictures now because the detail is there on this figure. And Mattel, bravo for making this because, you know, what a legendary piece to have in any collection. Let's just do a close-up picture here of the feathers on the costume because they are so good. I really, really like this figure. If you haven't already got it, do try and get it for your collection because it's iconic, isn't it? Everything down from the kind of costume claw feet to the two heads, modern and the old school one. Absolutely brilliant from Mattel. I want to keep saying it. Bravo for making this figure because who would have thought we'd ever get a gobbledygooker? Well guys, I hope you've enjoyed looking at this gobbledygooker in a bit more detail. I appreciate you guys for watching. Drop a comment and tell me what you think of this figure. Again, if you can, subscribe to the channel, like the video, it helps me out. Till next time, keep on collecting, peace out.